Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firestein Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Everybody take a deep breath. Two left. Two left. And I have a little under an hour. So, <laughs> let's just get them done. Virgo, of course, will go last. Capricorn, you're next. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you have, if you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. That's all I'm doing. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, these cards don't want to shuffle. If it doesn't resonate, you know what? Oh my gosh. If it doesn't resonate, <laughs> check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. I'm going to do it this way. Maybe, perhaps, they might resonate a little bit better. Awfully chunky. Awfully chunky. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa and may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here. The hermit came out. Let's see if it comes back out. Some of you may be on a introspection spiritual path right now. Taking a deeper look at things. Oh. In case I didn't do it yet. Just a friendly reminder, if it doesn't belong to you, don't take it with you. I may have to do this a little bit differently. I don't think so, no. Awfully chunky. Awfully chunky. Time to go to the storage unit and get those Encyclopedia Britannicas so I can weigh down some cards for a couple of days. What? Yeah, I have a set of encyclopedias. Three of Swords is why you're here, Capricorn. Dealing with a little bit of heartbreak. Somebody shoved some swords in your heart. Or did you shove some swords in somebody's heart? We'll figure it out once we get the rest of the cards read. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Star in the reverse. Could be a Capricorn. You're dealing with, disconnecting with. Um, a healing needs to take place that is not. Somebody hasn't healed. Could be you. Could be them. Somebody may even be a little bit angry at source. I'm feeling a little bit of why me energy coming off of that. Uh, what do you think of the person you're dealing with? Three of wands in the reverse. Either you're not waiting for them or you think they're not waiting for you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you want from them? Princess of Cups. Apologies. Perhaps. It can represent an apology. Some type of communication, a text, a phone call, an explanation, even if it's not an apology. The page is a tendency to bring about the cup of closure. Okay, well, how do they feel about you? Justice in the reverse, this wasn't fair. I just heard, I call BS. This wasn't fair. Ooh, some anger coming off this spread right now. <laughs> what do they think of you? 
the chariot. Not waiting, long gone. Somebody's packing up that chariot and making dust. Okay, what do they want from you? Four of Cups. Hmm. Some mirroring energy going on here, y'all. Huh. I have to chuckle. Still very hard to discern who did what to who. If they want to extend the apology, they're afraid you're just going to ignore it. And I don't think they're in a position to accept an apology if you're the one extending it, Capricorn. What's the obstacle here? King of Pentacles. <sighs> I throw a clarifier on that. Is the obstacle the offer? Self worth? All or nothing? Hmm. All or nothing? That's like boom, boom, boom right now. Boom, 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 all or nothing. Possible resolution. Queen of Wands. Oh. That's an open-ended card if I've ever seen one in a spread. She can represent forward movement. She can represent sexual energy. She can represent confrontational energy. This is why we clarify, my friends. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 2020. Page of Swords reversed came out. Y'all ain't talking. Broken hearts cut off in communication. Six of Wands. Returning after confrontation, returning after the battle, the return, the return. Someone wants a return or someone wants to return, but you're not talking. One card on the star reversed, please. One card. Thanks. Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody needs to heal and somebody's got a crappy attitude. Well, yeah. Why is the three of wands reversed here? Nine of cups. Page of wands reversed. Wheel of fortune reversed. <sighs> Somebody's not waiting. They're not waiting. They're walking away from the dock. They're going to go fill their own cups. They're not moving forward and not communicating that there's unfinished business. 
walking away, leaving it unfinished, not doing anything about it, off to fill their own cups. Why is the princess of cups down here for what Capricorn wants from the other person, of the other person, for the other person? Why is the princess of cups here? King of Cups reversed. Wow. So let me get this straight. You want the apology for the sake of getting the apology even though you don't care if you get it or not? You're not going to do anything with it, but you want it. Okay. 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 Maybe that's why they feel like if they apologize, you're just going to ignore it. Why is justice reversed here? Temperance in the upright comes up. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. That's a realization. Because that's very much a Sagittarian thing. It is. For a whole lot of water right here in this corner, that's very Sagittarian. It wasn't fair. I gotta throw one more on that because that's just super confusing. The Sun, card of Leo. It wasn't fair because you brought them sunshine and rainbows. Things were going so well. The sun was shining, everything was beautiful. It wasn't fair. Why is the chariot here? <sighs> page of cups again. The page of cups again. <laughs> Capricorn, that's your card. The apologies on their tongue.
It's like an obsessive behavior. The binding. Binding. Keeping distance. Putting distance there. But no matter how much distance you put, you're still bound. One more. Restless. They can sense the restlessness. Some, for some of you that could think that you want to apologize, but you're putting your distance there. If they're the one that needs to apologize, they want to, but they can't. They're just trying to keep their distance. <laughs> but no matter what, they're restless because no matter how much distance, you're bound. You were the sunshine in their world. But it wasn't fair. How it ended wasn't fair. That's why they have a crappy attitude. They're unable to heal. Why is the four cups here? Do you want to? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. They want to apologize, but it's just going to be ignored anyway. They want to work on things. They want a new start. They want to give you that coin of abundance. But you're going to ignore it anyway because you're emotionally withdrawn from it. You're just going to go somewhere else and fill your cups. But you know there's unfinished business. You're not waiting around. Maybe you're the one who needs to heal and have a crappy attitude toward them because they need to apologize. Wow. Mm. All things being fair and vice versa. Many different ways this could play out. Take what's yours, leave what's not. All or nothing. Obstacle and blockage. King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Sorts. I want it all or I want nothing. I am boxing this in. It's all or nothing. Nutty cups reversed. I want all or nothing. And that cup doesn't mean anything to me if you're not going to back it up. And it's consuming someone. Wow. Oh, it kind of landed half cock eyed and weird. Two pentacles reversed, imbalance. It's not balanced. Emotional juggling. Okay, weird, but two pentacles, two pentacles.
If you're not going to give me everything I want, I don't want anything. Three of Cups didn't show up, so we're not talking friend zone or third party. Hmm. All right. But that's the obstacle. There are two threes on the board, though. Just say it. Maybe that's where this all started. If I can't have all of you, I don't want any of you. Hmm. Well. Isn't that an interesting look at things? Hmm. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Wow, a cloud just like went over the sun here and it just got real dark real fast. Why is the Queen of Wands here? You want to talk. Empress reversed. <clears throat> Emperor upright. You know, the Queen of Wands is extremely intuitive. She is. It's from hanging out with that black cat. Being surrounded by sunflowers and sticks all the time. But she's about forward movement and about progress in connections, even if there's confrontation involved. She is respectful of the soulmate connection. She represents beauty. She represents passion. She represents fire. She is fire. One more on that. I need to be sure. Lovers reversed. Get a handle on the connection. Possible resolution. Except that they weren't the one. You're connected. There was a reason for it. But you need to get a handle on things and move on from it, whoever I'm talking to, be it Capricorn or the Cross Watcher. Except that it wasn't meant to be. And move forward. the outcome. The moon reversed. Might have something to do with these crazy moons that we're hanging out in between this month. Right. All things will be illuminated. What's the outcome? I'm going to throw one on this. Three of Pentacles reversed. In time, it'll be illuminated that there was no foundation here. It was not meant to come together. Five of Cups reversed. You'll come out of that state of sadness. You will see the blessing in this situation. Hmm. 
I'm going to gain your independence from a Nine of Pentacles in the upright. I'm going to share something with you real quick. Some of the best friends that I have, who I still call best friends, my ex-husband being one of them, hurt me the most. Some of your deepest soulmates hurt you the worst. And you don't figure out why until years down the road. And then you sit back and laugh about it. You know, one of my exes and I still, we still laugh about the day I drove four hours to go get my stuff out of his house. And he tried to hide a blanket. It was my blanket. Mm -hmm. But he wanted to keep it. He wanted to keep it to remember me by. And I said, no, I don't think so, sir. <laughs> I want my blanket. And we still joke. Because I ended up taking it with me. We still joke. He still messaged me once in a while. You know, I could really use that blanket right now. Oh, well, sorry it wasn't your blanket, dude. It's not my fault you didn't want me there to keep you warm. You see, in time... You can laugh about that pain. And it's a wonderful memory. But you have to get through the pain and the crappy attitudes and learn to take the lesson that you're supposed to take out of it. Let's get your advice, Capricorn. Oh my gosh. So fitting! Queen of Swords in the upright, the Ten of Swords in the upright. A positive, non emotional attitude will help you through this painful cycle and it will come to an end. The sun's going to shine again, but you have to accept the truth for what it is. You have to cut the negativity out of the situation. You don't necessarily have to cut the person out unless they're so completely toxic that you don't want them in your life anymore, but I don't think this is what this is. I think this is just someone that hurts you real bad. Justice in the Ten of Pentacles. Once the playing field levels out, you can have the abundance of friendship. But you gotta let the negative energy tone down and you have to come to terms with it. They can still bring sunshine and rainbows into your life. You just have to let the negativity leave. Okay? Alright Capricorn, this is what I have for you. For the month of October. So, whenever these events played out, I think it's going to be an interesting month for you guys. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Be blessed. Namaste. Love you to bits. Catch you next time. Let me know what happens.